Leo, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be doing your October prediction and we're going to be looking into your uh, general love and career. So today I shuffled the uh, numerology cards and we got the card of perseverance. So this is the number four. This is all about stability and kind of chugging through. <laughs> so if you guys are feeling like you're stuck, this is the card for you because I feel like you guys are really having to knuckle down and kind of get things done. You may be feeling a little bit kind of washed away. I'm not sure what that means, but if you know what that means, that then hopefully that resonates. So I'm gonna look into the um, book for this card. And for this card, this is a green card. So this is, where is it on here? find it <laughs> can't find it guys where is it okay here it is <clears throat> so green is all about perseverance environment stability discipline <clears throat> so this is all about you kind of putting down boundaries for yourself and actually getting shit done so this cut indicates a time for you to keep moving forward as you strive to achieve your hopes and dreams. Because despite your current challenges, success is well within your reach. You are never given more than what you can handle and you have the strength and ability to make it through. So face your challenges head on with determination, courage and faith. With perseverance and persistence, you can make your dreams come true. By drawing this card, you are being... <clears throat> excuse me encouraged to cultivate mental resilience and stability since a calm and stable mind creates a calm and stable life make yourself aware of the negative thoughts and beliefs that you are currently influencing you and muster up the strength to develop a positive state of mind in order to improve your current situation you're being asked and, uh, to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life cycles are that are encouraging you to persevere through your obstacles and challenges Call on heavenly assistance when you need it and have faith in your ability to create an exceptional life. That's lovely, I love that. Your affirmation is, with perseverance and persistence, I create an exceptional life. Okay guys, so underneath the deck we have change, which is absolutely amazing. So after this perseverance, we have change. This is all about things changing for you, things happening. And we also, this is, we also have four and five, okay? So this is an advancement. This is you going from stuck, don't know what to do, help me, to yes, I can freaking do this. And this is this could be to do with somebody you need to talk to as well, so just keep that in mind. If there's somebody you need to talk to right now that you're kind of possibly putting off or something you need to talk about, then that will help this crap move. Because <laughs> I feel like it generally feels like crap. Have I got something on my shirt? I literally had that on my shirt for the last three minutes. Sorry guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the uh, overall energy in terms of your love life. and see what's going on. Rebirth, gorgeous. So we have a rebirth coming along in terms of October. We also have abundance. So you guys basically are going through a rebirth and that's why things could be really, really tough right now, okay? So just bear that in mind that this is why things are a little bit stiff, a little bit stuck, a little bit confusing. And I can really resonate with this, so just so you know you are not alone. Um, it says, reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams and create a new reality. That is exactly what this change is telling you about. So basically, the universe is asking you to shake things up, change things, um, move things around, talk to people about something, really kind of get your vocal cords moving. <laughs> That's what they just told me. Um, use your throat chakra and get things moving. I'm seeing like, this is so random, I'm seeing the esophagus moving up and down, I don't know if that's the right word. The little thing that moves when you're talking. Adam's apple? I don't know what it's called, but... <laughs> I know men have the Adam's apple, I don't know about women, but... Abundance. Enjoy the bounty of your life, your supply is unlimited, blessings are coming to you. And that is exactly what we have with the change card. So these cards go really, really well. So you're going to have abundance coming in for you. And it's really important for you to be a leader in your own life and to follow your dreams is what they're telling me from these cards underneath the deck. So that's what's going to really kind of push this energy to move forward, okay? And it's going to give you abundance, which is amazing, number 88. So in terms of this change and perseverance, if you see 
the number um, 44 or 55 repeating, which we have on these two cards. That's what um, the angel number that's really kind of what you'll need to look at, okay? Um, so if you see the number 44 or 55 repeating, that's going to be a sign that things are moving and shifting for you. So I also got massive backache and like a bit of pain here underneath my rib cage. So I don't know if that uh, relates to any of you guys, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. So let's get more specific in terms of love. What's coming in for my gorgeous Leos? What's going to come in for you guys? We have the Queen of Swords. Page of Wands. So you're looking out and I'm getting both of you are looking out. So for some of you in relationships, you could be kind of wanting to adjust something in your relationship want to kind of change it up make it new make it new i don't know what that means but whatever that means to you you know why is it not focusing on my face that's weird it's really strange i don't know what it's doing <laughs> i don't know guys i think i might need to turn that brightness down a little bit just slightly because I think it's getting overruled by the light. So there's definitely something coming in in terms of change, okay? Whatever that means to you. We have a gorgeous tower moment and then we have the Hierophant. So you're going after your rebirth that's happening, you're going to get judgment. Something is going to shift. So you may not actually get love within this month. You may just have love uh, possibly in the next few months because I feel like you need to rebirth whatever's happening before anything can shift in terms of your love life. Obviously this is general energy, so this doesn't have to resonate for all of you. This will be for singles. Uh, and yeah, for singles, definitely, there's definitely something coming in in terms of what you what you you reap, what you sow. They're telling me, and the harvest, you're gonna harvest something that's new, okay? And with the page of wands, I do sense that you want something new and you're looking out for that. I feel like for a lot of you, you may want to spice your life up a little bit more. Um, in terms of spicing up your relationship or just spicing up just generally like your intimacy like intimacy is really going to be important to you this month in terms of like um, coming together with somebody and I feel like this is in terms of a air sign as well so you could be connected with an air sign or another fire sign and for some of you you're feeling a little bit trapped and that's the rebirth that's happening okay so what's going on is the universe is going to give you a little surprise this could be in the form of a massive change or just um, a change in the wind. So you may sense that you're going to go towards something and then it suddenly changes. So basically you think, oh, I'm driving on the road and then suddenly like the sat nav takes you a different route and then you figure and then you find something new. OK, that's kind of what I'm seeing for you guys. I'm seeing that the universe is kind of trying to change things up for you so you can like... So you can kind of embrace life as it is. I don't know why my brightness is so bright now. What is going on? Is that better? There we go. Sorry, guys. So, and something is going to trigger you to have a tower moment, okay? Because you're feeling like this right now. And you're going to have your tower moment. And that's basically what's going to trigger you to have this epiphany. You're going to have an epiphany and possibly a new person is going to come in because of this. There's going to be a shift in your thought patterns, okay? I'm seeing you like um, an up, they're telling me an upside down clock. So they're telling me an upside down clock because you can't read it when it's upside down and all the numbers are around the wrong way. So what's gonna happen is you're pretty much like an upside down clock right now and you're gonna flip yourself up the right way and then you're, you're gonna be able to read whatever is going on. So what's gonna happen is you, you're going for a rebirth this needs to happen because you need to have a shift in a perspective, okay? And then something's gonna change and it's gonna flip. And then you're basically gonna get out of this and you're gonna have a massive rebirth and you're gonna have the Hierophant moment and then you're gonna have a new person coming in in possibly the form, as I said, of a uh, air or fire sign, yeah? And I feel like you can already sense this person coming in for a lot of you who are intuitive. I feel like a lot of you are gonna sense this person coming in <clears throat> so for a lot of you guys the most important thing for you guys to focus on in terms of love is your rebirth and your sense of purpose that's what they're telling me okay 
So let's have a look in terms of career then and see what's happening for my gorgeous Leos in terms of your career. Okay, we have the world card, which is gorgeous and new cycle for a lot of you guys. The Hierophant. He's popping up in your love life and your career, which is really cool. We have the four of wands, gorgeous. This rebirth is so meant to happen, guys. Like you're so meant to get out of this. That was the seven of wands. Three of cups. Oh my God, ace of cups, that came out of nowhere. Did not think that was gonna come out today. So we have the page of swords in the reverse. So you may feel like you're going backwards, but that's just because there's rebirth happening. So that's why things are needing to shift up. Things are needed to like shake up. So whatever you are doing, you're doing it right. But I feel like there may be needed a little bit of something new in there. But I feel like, I feel like if you don't know what this is, that this is going to naturally come to you. And it's going to naturally shake you up. Okay. So with the world card and the Hierophant, there's going to be a sense of stability that's going to come towards you in terms of your career okay whatever this means to you and you're going to really really love it there is a sense of <coughs> <coughs> wow there may be a sense of miscommunication <laughs> with this card okay i'm not sure what this is i feel like you may be i don't think you're fighting off this foundation there may be new people that you're going to meet and you may be a little bit confused on how to interact with you, them. And you may be like, oh, I don't want to get too close to them. But actually, you're going to really like it. There may be something that's going to shift in terms of this Seven of Wands. Let's be more specific about the Seven of Wands. Because after the Seven of Wands, we've got the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So you may, what oh, I mean, you may have a fight with like a colleague or just a fight with a certain person obviously guys this can mean in any sort of life so this can be <clears throat> in any sort of part of your life so it doesn't have to be exactly career because obviously i say things cross over so you could be portrayed by somebody so i think you will see this coming though i think you're gonna have a sixth sense about this person you're gonna have your intuition is gonna be like i'm not sure about this person but i'm gonna take them on or i'm gonna work with them but you're just not gonna be sure about them so if there's anyone you're not sure about just keep a little eye on them because I feel like you're just really not sure about how to proceed with them. This could even be a certain situation that you're just not sure about going forward. Yeah, so we've got the um, the Five of Swords here as well. So this is like confusion energy to a T. The Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, okay? So, that is your general energy, guys. I really hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm also thinking of including some crystal recommendations as well in the end of these readings. So if you guys would like that, please comment down below. Let me know if you want me to add that in for November's reading. And yeah, I hope you guys liked it, Leos. And if you would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Comment down below if it resonates. If it doesn't, then just let it fly. And yeah, I'll speak to you very soon. Have a great October and happy Halloween if you celebrate it. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.